So this is Triceratops frill. See the big blood grooves in it? So how do you tell, I mean, other than, you know, we know this is a Triceratops because of that, but how do you know the difference between a Hadrosaur and a Triceratops? And then- Well, the had Hadrosaurs didn't have the blood grooves on frill. The frill is very dense. There's not like soft marrow in it. It's a very distinct shape that you learn out here. It's a lot of study and a lot of research. This, like anything in this world, you're going to have to study at it. You're going to have to research it. I mean, there's a lot of work that goes into this. There are simple things that you can look at to tell what's a bone and what's not a bone. And I'll give you an example here. So this, it's got the shape. It yeah. looks like some bone, but it's sandstone. And yeah. when you examine the bone closely, when you examine this rock closely, you can see the little sand particles. So, you know, to an untrained eye, that's a dinosaur bone. But to a trained eye, you see, okay, that's, that's sand, so then that means this is sandstone. But to an untrained eye, this looks like a rock, but to the trained eye, all right, we've got the blood grooves here, but most importantly, we've got the marrow, where we can see the little holes for the blood, where, where the marrow was on the bone. Those are indicators that we use to tell what is a bone and what is not a bone. 